once you've done that, you want to go to texture, you go to transparency, and you want to put that all the way up to 100. So it's transparent. Then you're going to want to shift click and you're going to you go to control shift and then you or you can just click on stretch. I like to do shortcuts. And then you click this little box in the corner and you drag it down all the way as small as it can possibly be. But you want it to be perfectly, you know, still keeping its box shape. Then once you do that, put that wherever you want to be, wherever you want them to sleep. You can make your own beds, make dog houses, you can have them sleep on your bed, and they'll occasionally find that spot to sleep. You can also take that box and go to name and name it stool. If you name it stool, then they'll go there when they have to poo. But remember where you put these, otherwise, because when you need to move them, they're very small, they're very hard to find. So I'm going to go to more, delete, because I don't need that. But there's also a shortcut you could do, let's see, I think it's Control-T, no. Uh, Control-Shift-T, no, Control-Alt-T. There it is, Control-Alt-T is a shortcut that shows you anything that's alpha, but keep in mind these are still very small, so you're going to have to zoom around a bit, but see if I zoom in here, you'll see these little red boxes. That's an easy way to find them if you need to. See, I've put several since I have several pets. So that's an easy way to find them. It's still a little tough sometimes, but once you zoom in, if you zoom out, that you can still see them. But you have to zoom in to see them in the first place. So just keep track of where they are. Control it to that. Okay. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's see. That, that's pretty much the breakdown of, you know, how to work them. You know, they're very neat. You know, they're really, really cool pets. I mean, if you want a virtual pet, this is the one to get because you're going to get the most rewarding experience out of it. Kind of like if you get a baby, it's just baby tattoo. Anyways, but they're really cool. They have a very neat AO. They're constantly improving. You know, you can give suggestions to their creator. Uh, I could pull up her profile here. Come here, me. Stop moving. Or whoever you are. One of you come here. Yeah. Stop moving. Stop moving. Damn it. Okay. Follow Steel. Come here. I'm going to need to show them something with you anyways. Anyways. But her name is Testers Luik. That's T-E-S-T-O-R-S space l-u-i-k and she's she's really cool her english isn't her first language so you know if, if you have a little trouble understanding her you know that's fine she's patient with you she understands just be patient as well and you know you'll eventually get your point across but she's really nice she's open to suggestions just like i said try not to bug her too much because she does need time to be able to work on these guys to make them better anyways so for a little fun, I'm going to show you Steel when he's fully grown, because he looks pretty damn cool. So, just, I'm going to click on him, stop. You can also ride them, but it looks cooler when they're bigger. <laughs> it would look kind of funny riding him right now. Alright, so, I'm going to go to resize. And down here, it'll show me in a moment what his max size should be. It's just lagging a little bit. There it goes. Between 70 and 450, so I type 450. And he'll look a little funky for a moment, but when he's done, he'll be nice and big. This is how they change sizes. And you can resize them without messing up their growing, you know, just if you want to give them a boost, or, you know, if you if they're growing a little too fast, you want it slower, you can push them back. These huskies, keep in mind, they grow very slow because they have a lot of growth stages, and they'll grow about once, a, once or twice a day, you know, it depends. But it'll take a couple months for them to get to his full size, so... Here he is, steel, fully grown. This is this awesome pimpin' husky. He is, he's a cutie. If I right click him, I can ride him. Let's give us all a moment to catch up. And this is probably not a great idea to do inside. Okay. Here we go, it's finally loaded up. So the, the riding is a little off, but that might be a fix in the future. But basically, you press forward. And he'll start to run. And, you know, it's basically the turning could use a little work. But I know that when you're riding stuff, turning's always a little bit of a pain. But see, he'll run. Which is pretty cool. You know, you got this giant wolf-sized husky, and you can ride him. 
Now, here's the funny part is they can still, you can still do ride and hug no matter how big they are. So, it looks really funny but kind of adorable when he's on your shoulders. So, I'm going to hug Steel. Be warned, there's about to be a giant husky on me. <laughs> there we go. So, there. <laughs> Told you it'd be funny, but if you have a giant avatar, it can work out. But he looks so cute. He looks like a big puppy. And you drop him to put him back down. And that's more or less a breakdown of how to work with these guys. You know, they're really cool. There's a lot of stuff you can do with them. You know, as they improve, there'll be more stuff you can do with them. So, overall, they're just really, really cool pets. I would definitely suggest getting one. So, that's my little tutorial on how to work them. I, you know, hope that you'll be interested in getting one in the future if you don't already have one. If you do have one, kudos to you. They're great pets. So, I hope you enjoy your pet. And thank you for watching this. Bye!